G'day mate, welcome back to Empires the Undergrowth. Um, we're, we're gonna try the Formication Challenge again. Uh, I really hope to survive it this time around. I think it is time we there connected we the outworld to the feeder colonies. Okay. I want to see how these erectors respond under pressure. So I'm gonna bring the experiment. both lots of ants out. No, look, we're, we're gonna go full fortification. We're gonna bring... Let's begin with a small threat. Uh, connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. We're going to park our ants here at the entryway. That's what we're going to do. And we're just going to let everybody walk in through the front door and then hope to smash them right here. Actually, we'll put team two there. We'll put team one here. And we're just hoping that we're just, we're just going to have over, over, overwhelming numbers. Uh, that's right, I can press Alt. Alt to get The Erectors identified the threat and responded very quickly. Excellent. Mm. Let's see how they handle a few more, shall Let's we? Those Introducing 20 Formica Fusca ads. Yeah, it gives you a bit more room to move. 20 ants come in. And so I'm sorry, I have to annihilate them. Just really overwhelming numbers. Uh, 32 and 49. Still really wish I had more military. Our eruptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment. Let me know the results. Don't add more than 30 ants at once, though. We don't want to harm the queen. Understood. This is when she leaves and the sadistic bastard takes over. Hmm, I wonder how they will react to a rival eruptor colony. Introducing 40 rival of Raptor Ants. Yeah. Yeah. He's a little bit of a wanker. In case you couldn't tell. You know, th there are some kids that got puppies and, and cats and other animals as the kid. You can tell this guy just got fish. And they obviously got flushed often. I'm going to watch these numbers up here and hope nobody dies. Excellent. Done. Because deaths cost me food. I have plenty of food. Introducing a further 50 rival raptor ants. But I'd much prefer not to have any de deaths. Right. And because we're fighting inside our base, respawns are nice and close. They're going to pop out and come straight out to here. So we're going to put you, team number three, can come here. Just massacring. Everything. The second they walk through, it's dead. I love it. Fascinating. Love it. Now, let's try 60 Raptor Ants. That's a bit cruel. Although, from memory, the Erector Ants were the easier of the two to fight off. Come on! And again... So they're going all three ant holes at the top, but they only seem to come from one position down here. Seems a little bit odd to me. Taking a lot longer to kill. Although I didn't see any health bars drop. Response. Mm, seeds have dropped on the surface. Where are these seeds? Is that it? I know that's to lure me out. Hmm, what about a combination of a raptor and a fusca? Okay. Let's start with 20 Let's of each. One down here, two down here, three down here. Maybe that was a mistake. Come on, back you come, guys. Damn, that's going to cost me some losses. Bugger. The food drew me out.
But that's it. Everybody respawns in a hurry. And we'll come join the fight. And we're going to put that back in that pile. An unconventional defense, yet highly effective. It's interesting to see the colony fight on two fronts. Perhaps we should try 30 of each. This does not look good. Is it just me, or do these ants in the south feel laggy? Alright. Let's go back and watch the battle happen. Can I bring one up the side? Yeah, so this is the problem where we've got very, very even numbers. Oh, I can hear ants popping. Magnificent! Some, some Once losses. again, our raptors triumph! Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to chase down the seas this time. Where am I? Nah, we're so close to f max food. It's fine. I shall send you out. You're our sacrificial lambs. The colony's ability to withstand such overwhelming assaults is incredible. I wonder... How will they handle a sustained flow of aggressors? No, you guys go, go back there. I don't know how many sustained is. It feels like a lot. But we're doing much better this time around than we did last time. What's that number again? 81. Population. Oh. I need to find someone to increase the max population, that's for sure. Let's make things a little more interesting, shall we? Enter the Devil's Coach Horse. And this is where we had problems last time. They have way more hit points. Why am I not getting food from all these things? That's that's my big question. Ants eat everything, including other ants. Whoops! I seem to have dropped my beetles. I hope they don't harm the little ants. Uh, that's the beetle there. Big health bar. Lost a couple of workers. Doesn't look like we've lost too many combat ants. Definitely fighting inside the entrance is the way to go. Oh crap, what are we... Is that two more beetles? Oh sheesh. Yeah, we're, we're losing workers. Not so much the soldier ants, but definitely the workers. Perhaps that's enough for now. Oh, really? You're going to be nice. I was that close last time, that means. Yeah, he says that close. Getting massacred every time. But close? There's a lot of empty health bars. How has the right. colony been responding? They mounted an excellent defense against 20, 25, and even 30 Fusca ants. Oh, as you sure, suggested. sure. Perfect. Way Perhaps we can provide more of a challenge for them next time. Oh, don't say what that! A fantastic suggestion. Oh, fuck, he's a st sadistic bastard. Don't say that. Okay, so we're going to go with extra royal jelly. So I need to know how much territory I already have. Right, we're going to go for the extra royal jelly. We're going to click continue. Seeds have been dropped on the surface. Woohoo! I do love the way that they fall in. Let's uh, see how the colony grows over the next few days. 
Now that they have experienced battle, I expect to see a significant rise in the number of soldiers. Yeah. Yeah, that was my thoughts as well. Put down those. We're gonna upgrade things as soon as we can. I wanna look at. No, nope, that's the challenges. Royal jelly. Wood ant. 150? I can't research that. So it's 150. Damn. Or I could take a little upgrade for my worker ants. No, we'll just, we'll just hold off. more. I've got 42 territory tunnels. I don't think I need larger. Oh, maybe we should. Let's get some larger food stores. Only because they're fairly cheap to upgrade. And yeah, definitely the way to upgrade is click and drag. Is all that food gone? Nope. Uh, let's delete your task. We'll have the soldiers come clear up that food. Is there any more food up here? Yeah, there's that little bit over there. Upgrade tool. Oh, I missed that one. More combat ants. Now, I haven't split this into two teams yet. Oh, but we did get a population cap increase. That's nice. Okay. Increase those. Increase those. That tile's already upgraded. Well, upgrade it more. Faster. Faster! Upgrade. 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 That's 51 in that group. Food stores are well over 2k. So let's make another set of combat ants. And I think we're going to have to put these right here. Mm. Let's do it off the main corridor. Mm. That's a good shape to start with. What's that do to our population? So let's still go a little bit further. That's it. That's as high as we're going to get. Okay. Upgrade. All of those, please. I don't have enough food. Really? Did I get all the food? Crap. Alright, team two, you're a team three. Team one, team three. We're done. We ate everything. We've upgraded everything. Uh, I just need to add. These are really cheap. What are our speed tiles? Speed up to like five. Oh, fine, bring the food back. Dump it. Great. What's this? Uh, equally original cost of the tile. So, not a lot. Uh, 
but we're done. Okay. Nope, that's research. We want that one. On to number two, Rising Tide. Uh, in medium. The beach provides a feast for those brave enough to venture there, but sunset brings new dangers. Unit options. Mortar. Slow firing wood ant that deals high damage on impact. Level three, it gains air of effect. Or rapid fire. A fast firing wood ant that deals low damage on impact. At level three, it slows enemies it hits. Let's go with a traditional mortar. Slow firing, but high damage. And we're going to go on medium. Um, we don't have a challenge mode, but it means without a challenge mode, we'll get to do this twice, I assume. Once with this ant, once with this ant. So, play. Let's see what trouble we can get ourselves in. Oh, fish. Fish would be heaps of food. I admit, fish probably don't wash up very often. But, you know, you take what you can get. Holy crap, that's a lot of food to This Formica Rufa wood ant queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can, while they can. Oh, so it's a different type of... Okay. Wood ants build workers are two and two types of soldiers. The first is a range attack that fires acid from its addon. Based on unit choice, starting level. Your ranged wood ants will either fire slowly with high damage or fast with low damage. Okay. So let's start with... Three workers. Because... They're busy harvesting that. What is that? It's just a giant beetle. Or it's the old queen. Looks a bit like a queen ant. Put these guys in here. I'm gonna harvest that. Food stores, we might as well put those over here. Uh, so it looks like this time all the dangers outside. Which we haven't accessed yet. Survive three nights. Oh my god. That sounds painful. Okay. Uh, wood ant nursery time. Wood ant melee time. Your ranged wood ants, wood ants have low health and will be cut through quickly unless they have support. The melee wood ant is a tank unit. Its damage is low, but its health is high. They are weak by themselves, but combine equal parts with the ranged wood ants. You have a very high, effective pin and kill combination. Great. 50. 60. Damn. Okay. All right, let's bring this out this way. And I have exact food, enough food for two. Two common ants. And in the meantime, we're going to dig... Oh, that is combat crap. There's a red thing there. It's probably going to spell trouble. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, we finished harvesting that. Okay. Mm, nothing in there. You, come here. Turn off food gathering. You, also turn off food gathering. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Hopefully we've got enough. I don't know. Nope. Nope. One, two. Him bring you across. Nope. That was a quick loss. Really? 
our answer to that shit, are they? Alright, let's put you on three. Let's dig this out. Let's at least go look at the surface. The colony is starving. There is not enough food yeah, to feed the new brood. Qu Queen's gonna die. There is food to be found all over the beach. But the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. Oh, damn. Not a Nest over here somewhere. No, they're just walking in from the edge of the map. The queen is in imminent danger. Yeah, I know. Queen's dying. We're good. We're good. We're gonna have to try again. It's a pretty map, but um, these bigger beetles. The queen worry. has okay. been slain. Right. Her choice of nest site was over. We got nothing. We scored that horrible. <sighs> okay, let's no wrong one again. Uh, medium. Those type of ants play. Okay, so we got high damage, high damage, low firing rate, with shitty, shitty. Shitty. This Formica Rufa wood ant queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can, while they can. So we have really, really shitty, shitty melee ants, melee ants, or, yeah, go away, or, high damage, low firing, uh, low reload time, uh, range dance. That's, like, that's it. Two of those, one of those. I'm gonna go with the second one of these, because... Like, that's it, that's all the food there is. We've got this over here, but we have to get to it. So we got one and two as control groups, so we can swap back and forth between those. We have our four combat ants. We're going to take... Oh, hang on. There's food here. Oh, I don't want to build food. I want two, three. Come pick up this food. Maybe that'll be enough to get us out of trouble. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cancel, cancel. Wouldn't melee. They are the melee ones. So I actually didn't build enough melee. I had to move around the wrong way. Oh. Do you want food? I'd want. I just want one more. No. No is the easy answer. Okay. Food 
So she want. There are intruders right. in the nest. Two to go charge. One to go charging in, and two to. Two to fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. You didn't listen to the fall back part, did you? Oh, it was wonderful back. I had it around the wrong way again. Like three can go charging in. The colony is starving. Get back starving. here, get back here, There's get back not here. enough food to feed the get new Get back brood. here, get back here, get back here. Get retreat, 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 retreat. No. The queen is in imminent danger. Well, that didn't work. Twice. Because I have my answer in the wrong way. Again. Oh. Is there a restart level? Let's just do that. We're off to a great start. Twice. Twice. Okay. This so. Formica Rufa wood ant queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach. The perfect vantage point for scavenging so hapless mortals washed one. in by the tide. I want ranges number At the two. moment, the tide is out. But it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can while they can. 58 and then 60. Okay. Come on. Three melee. Now, seeing the range ones in action, they do do nice amounts of damage. But, you know, got to keep them away from everything. If this fails, I think we're going to go off into the abyss. And... We're going to try and scavenge some food outside before we go inside. Is that food? That looks like food to me. It is. Come pick it up. Okay, so that's all the food we've got. We can have one ant respawn. Do not click food. Do not click food. Three. Do not click food. Okay, so one's in the front line, two's right behind them, and three is gonna dig like that. One, oh, one, hang on, where's these other ants, they're not hatched yet, this says I have three, and this says thank you, where's team number two, come on, walk forward, there we go, Team number three. I want them lined up. I want to go into combat. Everybody together. Predators Retreat. are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Losing so many so quickly. The, the, the mortar ants. Two in here. 
smart. Run back. Run back. No. No. Okay. The queen is in Oh, restart level. That's, 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 that's just like epic fails on epic fails. Uh, we're, we're doing well. We're doing really This Formica well. Rufa wood ant queen has laid her first yeah. brood in a burrow near the sea. Yeah, her I'm nest gonna... is just on the outskirts of the beach. The perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. Yeah, we're scavenging. At the moment, the tide is out. But it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can, while they can. This is the melee troops. Come on. Alright, we're just gonna wait for everybody to hatch, then we're gonna go look at the surface, we're gonna see what we can do. Because that seems like our only answer at this point. Come on, hatch yellow thing. Thank you. Uh, let's dig that one up. <clears throat> there is food to be found all over the beach, but the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. Okay, that's tiger beetle. Looks like this is a bit of a safe zone. Is that food? That's food as well. Go back down here. Place is that the right one? Cost sixty food. Yeah. This colony must remain small for now. Ooh, food is too big. scarce to support close. greater numbers. Go away. Really go away. Let's run back inside. Inside seems like a good place to be. Uh, Got those done. Okay, food storage is just five. It's really cheap. So we can afford to just put down a few of those. Gives us a little bit more flexibility. Now I'd like to come this way next. So it looks like I gotta come. Are we some way? No, cancel. No, cancel. Turn around. Go away. Do not follow. Back! Run! They're really not listening to me. Mm, food stores. There are other wood ants out here. They have also come to take advantage of the buffet provided by the sea. 
Territorial disputes will invariably favor the colony with the greater numbers. Good, let's go fight him, please. Really? I can't afford to lose an ant. Why am I taking so much damage? This guy's not even dying. That's not the bad guy. Boom. Grab the food. Run. Ty brings it with the food at the sea, but it will not be accessible forever. Collecting resources close to the sea first will mean they do not get washed out when the tide rises. Oh, good to know. Uh, ranged wood ants have a low health. We cut through quickly unless they have support. Melee wood ants is tank unit. Yeah, we read that one. Oh, shit. You just got cut through. The stray wood ants will often gather food as they see it. Maybe wise to take the food from the pass. As a matter of priority. Yeah, okay. Okay, this we can't do. Yeah, that's too expensive. Uh, gain extra ability. More ants will gain area effect damage on hitting enemy, while rapid fire ants will slow enemies they hit. Okay, so we read that real quick. Um, there's meant to be a beetle here. What happens when you get hit by a beetle? The beetle just walks past you. Oh, I don't like it when the AI doesn't fight with itself. Collect all that food and get the hell out of here. The tide is tide coming rises. in. Okay. No, no, no. Soon the lower levels of the beach no, will no. be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will the be lower washed out to sea. Get the hell out of here. As there's water here, I know, I'm, I'm gathering that's a lower level. Oh, damn, again. The ants will fight to the death. Oh, I, I lived. Okay, no. Holy shit, that was quick. It's just bang, done. Ties up. Okay. Alright. So. Let's put down... Another one of these. Uh, another one of those. We don't have any more food at all. Okay, so we can't even catch what we've got. The colony is starving. Yeah, There's not enough food to feed the new brood. The water is rising really? quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. Okay, I'm going to assume we're just going to lose to here. The ants must fight. Okay. Melee in first, range in second. Holy shit. Is that food? Really? Kill him! Okay, that was not food. This is food. Um, come here, ants. Grab some food. You know what? We're gonna bring out team three. They're way bigger than I am. The tide has almost oh, reached its shit. highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Cancel, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, go, run, run, back to home base. Back to home base. 
Back to home base. No. Turn around. Go away. Go away. Go away. Nine seconds. Turn. Go. Wow. That was almost very bad for us. So, you know what? That's where I'm going to end the episode. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. I, I hope you're enjoying Empire's Underground. The tide is in, and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It will be wise for the Rufa colony to stay underground, and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. That sounds very ominous, and that's where we'll leave it. As I said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying Empire's the Undergrowth. I'm getting there slowly. I'm getting there slowly. It, it, it's a game that requires a little bit of experimentation to see what you can do and how to survive and all that sort of stuff. And it's it's a nice twist. It's a nice twist on, on a lot of other sort of very straightforward fed with a silver spoon game. So, thank you guys for watching. As always, um, thoughts, comments, complaints. Tell me what the hell I screwed up down in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!